It was once clock, calendar, and compass for Alberta's indigenous peoples. That was all um, knowledge that was used to be able to do all of the extensive traveling that indigenous people uh, did. The appearance of eight faces of the moon symbolizing the passing of time, a lunar calendar marking the changing seasons. Then you knew that it was time to move on, perhaps to say, to where your berry picking grounds were. Far from berry picking season now, but Monday's snow (laughs) making way for a cold, clear sky early Tuesday. This motion is happening all the time out in space around us. And, and it, makes, it makes the earth, the seasons, all that kind of stuff. But when you watch an eclipse, it's like it's happening in front of your eyes. To add to the spectacle before and after totality, as the moon passes through the earth's shadow, it takes on a blood red hue. So the earth's atmosphere is a filter and the earth's shadow is red and the moon is going to pass into this red shadow and that's why it looks red. It's all been part of the dance between the sun and moon for billions of years, a story passed down by indigenous peoples for generations. It was this this notion of time and space being cyclical, so it would have been a very normal and perhaps even exciting thing to see. A predictable, exciting opportunity for those willing to brave the cold. The next full eclipse won't be on offer until March of 2025. The best part about this lunar eclipse was, well, it was so early in the morning that you get the best of both worlds. Right now, the viewing party that was on Mount Royal is actually looking at the sunrise as the moon is actually behind the ma- the, the mountain and the buildings here. But many people coming out here this morning as of 4 a.m. with their telescopes, their cameras capturing photos photos and taking in that whole celestial event, one that lasted about three hours and 40 minutes. And that's, of course, the sun lining up with the moon and the earth and the earth's shadow covering the lunar surface and having that red orange hue. And many of them, while they were amateur astronomers, there were some that actually have never seen a celestial event like this before. And many of them say that this was something that they had to see, even though it was dark and it was cold, but well worth it. I spoke to a couple of them. Take a listen. And it's always a beautiful sight when, when the moon um, gets fully into the shadow and, and things start getting a little red. You get to see the movements of the moon around the Earth. We see a little bit of the shadow uh, 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 of the Earth on the moon at the start. And over time, you get to see more of that shadow uh, of the Earth on the moon. And what you're seeing there in real time. And Laura, if you're lucky, you might be able to see the moon still right now, but many of them are still enjoying this sunrise. But as for the next lunar eclipse, the one that we just saw similar to this, well, that will be in a long time, as you mentioned, three years, 2025, March 14th. So if you want to take advantage of that one, you might have to mark your calendar and take a little bit of a wait. (laughs) But there will be a lot of photos online, of course, a full story tonight.